Setting up coolant is really, really easy. The first thing you want to do is you want to add ice to the bin. You want to fill it almost entirely uh, with ice. Then you want to add water to create uh, a slurry. So it's as simple as adding water. And you want to leave just a little bit of room um, at the top, and I'll show you why. Because these copper coils are going to sit into the slurry. So you want to leave enough room. And basically, you, you put the top into the slurry of ice and water. Attach the four latches. That will take care of the, uh, the heat sink and the cooling of it. And the next thing you want to do is you want to attach the mitt and you take the male connectors, you put them into the female connectors, and then you want to open up the top reservoir and you want to add some water. And this is where um, you kind of got to just be a little bit careful. You want to add some water, just fill it until it's almost at the top. Then you want to turn the unit on. Here's the on off switch, turn it on. You're going to hear that uh, the unit's going to start, the, the pump is going to start pumping the water. Water is going to flow out of the unit into the mitts. So water is going to drain out of the reservoir. And you want to keep the reservoir open and you want to look into the reservoir just to make sure that you've got enough water that covers the bottom of the reservoir. If you put too much water in, when you turn it off, the water will overflow. If you don't have enough water in the unit, then uh, the pump will kind of, you'll hear some grinding noises of the pump. It doesn't like it. You'll watch the water flow out. Maybe you add just a little bit more water in and you should be good to go. Just close up the top reservoir and cool water is now flowing through the tubes into the mitt. You put your hand in and you already feel already the water is pretty much, the water is pretty much at temperature. Um, it'll get a little bit colder as time goes on, but it'll never get too cold. It'll always stay at the right, at the right temperature. When you're done using it, just take your hand out. If you're going to be doing another uh, set, you could keep it running. Um, this battery, if it's fully charged, will last about eight hours. The ice slurry will last at least six hours or so. Uh, so you can keep it running, or if you want, you could turn it off um, if you're not gonna use it for a while to, to save the ice, and then you can very easily turn it back on. Very easy to, uh, to start and stop. When you're done, turn the unit off, and then very quickly, you could just easily disconnect. You should empty the ice and water slurry and when you use it again you're going to want to do new ice and, and water in the in the basin. You don't have to change the water from the reservoir all that often. Uh, every week or so you could probably change it but um, it should stay in there and should be fine to go.